Hello guys, welcome back to Back to the Future. I am Mega Dad, and this is the Mega Family Gamers. And we are Marty McFly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find out where Doc is. So what, what I think, when you look at this, I have, a, I have a feeling that Doc is in jail. So if we find the jail, we find Doc, right? So we got the town thing. So let's just explore this uh, 1931, 1930s town. Where's the jail anyway? You know, the jail maybe, I don't know. Is there like a map in here? I guess not. Here's a soup kitchen. The police. I guess maybe the police. Maybe Doc is in the police station. So let's let's go into the police station. Who um, are you and what do you want? Can I talk to uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram. Hey. If I, how can I see Doc? Maybe I could take a look, find Doc. That's all I want. Hill Valley Police Station. Cripes, this place looks old, even for 1931. Let's take a look at what he wanna. Jail is directly, okay. We got that, how do we? Jail window. Doc! <gasps> there he is! Mark. What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system, of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. <laughs> Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Hey, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? How about, let's alert the authorities, let's go back in time, let's make a stand, let's talk to the gangsters? I don't know, let's go back in time. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Okay, well that blows out that Jeez, idea. We've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Okay, so let's just... I guess I could take you, break you out of jail. Let's talk to the gangsters. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Oh. Good point. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Rocket-powered drill? I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Wow, so we, we're further back in time, remember, guys? Because in Back to the Future, they went back to 1955. We're in 1931, so Doc is a very young kid. Or young man. 
What what am I supposed to do to get you to build a rocket? How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed to- Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Okay, that sounds good. So what about the how Where do you find you? Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. I see. Soup is bad. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Well, this is great. Now we're gonna find out. We're gonna rescue Doc by finding Doc. So Doc is gonna rescue Doc. Don't look at me. Why is there like a sign there? Maybe I could. Okay, well. Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. I see. It's open. This is it. We're gonna call Doc's house. That's that's what we're gonna do in here. Maybe we're gonna ask for use the phone. Shouldn't be easing, eating that cabbage soup. Make fly. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Hmm. Would you? Uh, no. Of course not, kid. All right. That's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Aw. Uh, now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. I see. All right. Looks like maybe we can talk to this guy. Um. <clears throat> can I use your phone? Okay. Hey, um... Uh, never mind. Can we even get his attention? There's a dude here. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. That's true. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. Eli should mind his own business. Like a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Heavy. I don't even understand. We're calling Doc. Come on, Doc. Brown residence. Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Yeah, I see he's calling. Carl Sagan. Courthouse. Doc never told oh, me no, what the courthouse. 
Who? What said my name again? What the? There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Well, I don't have anything. What does this hint say? Okay, let's just go to the clerk. Whatever. We'll be back and open that kitchen door thing. There's a, it doesn't look like there's anything around here. Stacked tables. Cue what are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. There's cue balls. <laughs> cue ball. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Okay. Forget it. Hey, no, no, um, no, no, no. Never mind. I'm sorry, guys. I clicked on. I thought he. I didn't know. All right, let's get out of here. The courthouse. Where's the courthouse? The courthouse would be on the other side of the. There. This court. That's the courthouse, no? Hey, it's hard to know where you're going, eh? Here we go. Hello, I'm Marty McFly. I'm just in the past, but I'm in the future, so don't mind me. I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy from 1986. There's Einstein. Okay, uh... Young Doc's in the courthouse. I hope I'll be able to recognize him. I really like how you walk around in the town. Don't touch those! These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc? Uh... Nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. Emmett Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Naturally, H2A multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than... I... I think I should follow him, bro. Where is he? I'm following his voice. There he is. He's walking pretty fast, man. Run. Okay, you can run. Okay, here we go. Doc. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Um, when I, I hear you working on a rock, I've got something important. What do you... There's more. Uh, don't worry, I'm a scientist too. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. Okay. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. No interest in science? Yes, you... Uh, dude, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Mm. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest. I think we're getting law, somewhere. But I don't believe you. It's you true. Don't? I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Hmm. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the, the thigh, thigh bone? bone? Amazing. 
Come on, tell me about your rocket drill. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. The I am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, man, we keep losing Emmett. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Uh, what are you doing? This is important business you're up to. It's a legal matter, very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop, I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first His part. father is the you judge. You no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. So, Emmett. What time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. 9 at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. Whoa. How about quitting early? How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. You sound a little Sounds scared. Like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Sure you do. Don't worry, your rocket drill Come secret. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! Oh, we keep losing them, Mr. Doc. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. Now what are we gonna do? Emmett won't give you the time of day. Perhaps you two had something in common. Like what? What's Emmett muttering to himself about when he thinks you're when you're not listening? Emmett signed to our gibberish to Marty, but there's somebody who can make sense of them. Try recording. Here you go. Okay, Gary. Hello? What? No solicitors! What is he saying? Okay, okay. I never thought about that. I was going to actually record him. Oh, think, Emmett. Think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> now if H stands for one. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Emmett, uh, about Don't your say it. Wait, no, no. Why am I uh, here? This I don't know, is there like a math teacher somewhere in there or sci uh, another scientist in this place? <laughs> Oh, come on. Just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared <gasps> of Judge Brown are people with I a can dark go to secret dark to with hide. The tape. I don't have a dark uh, secret to hide. All right, all right, all right. Goodbye. Damn it. Uh, about your say it. Okay, we're gonna lose him. Oh, no. Alright, we lost him. Okay, so let's go to the uh, police station. And I don't know what's going on, so maybe Doc would remember. There's a police station. There, there, there. There's a police station. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. That's it, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Take the inventory, give him the tape. There. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? 
Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. Uh... Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Right. Okay, so let's go see him. Let's hopefully we catch Doc. There he is. Uh, uh, it's so hard to... No, 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 no. Go back. Okay. There we go. It's hard to control uh, Marty here. Hey. It's just not working. Where's where's Doc? Where's Doc? I better tell young Doc the solution to that formula before I forget it. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Okay. Well, will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. He Hamilton operator. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I'm from the planet Vulcan. I'm from the future. I read a lot well, of Jules Verne. it's Ryan. like this. You know about my rocket power drill. Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? I need your rocket. I really, I really, <laughs> I really, really need your rocket drill. Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. I need a full-size model. I need it tonight. Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing <laughs> inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket right. power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. What's the subpoena? subpoena? my grandpa? Oh. Uh, it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Wow. Let's go talk to him. So his no. grandpa is with his Kid bookie. Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Wow, this is getting heavy, guys. Well, we're going to be right back, and I hope you enjoyed the show so far. When we're back, we're going to try to deliver the subpoena, hopefully, and then... Get the fuel for Doc and rescue Doc from the from jail. See ya.